In this video, we'll take a closer look at some of the configuration options we have for the actual hardware itself in Mosaic. Hardware configuration can occur before or after you associate it with a virtual controller. To configure something, we can select the controller and hit the configuration button up at the top. This will open our controller configuration window. The first thing you'll see is the controller you're working on and its serial number. Underneath that, you'll have a section for network. You have two options in here, either to use a DHCP server to obtain an IP address or to set a static IP address. You'll see in this situation, I actually have a static IP set. Underneath this is the web server options. If you're using a custom web server, it may require a different HTTP port than the default. You have an admin password underneath that, which allows you to enable security and set a new or confirmed password. If you run into issues with this password after you set it, please contact ETC Tech Services for assistance. At the top center, we have options for set date and time. You can either set this manually, or you can use the sync designer feature to sync it to the time and date on your computer. If you're working in a system with an SNTP server for time, you can select whether or not you'd like the Mosaic controller to get its time from that server. If so, select the option here, and set the IP address of that server. Underneath that are options for the log levels within Designer. By default, logs will set to normal. However, there are a number of different options. If you set it to debug, you will see the most amount of information in log. However, it is highly recommended to set this back to normal after you finish your programming. If you are using syslog to send information to an external syslog server, you can select that option here and then type in its IP address. At that point, all items that would show up in the log will also be sent to a syslog server. On the right-hand side, you have the option to enable or disable Watchdog. It is always recommended that you leave this enabled unless specifically told to by ETC Tech Services. Finally, under that is an option to format the memory card in the Mosaic controller. Be aware that if you do format this memory card, it will erase all project data on the controller. Once you've configured all these settings, you can hit Apply to save your changes.